hey what is up everybody prime dice here ready for another video so in this video wait before we even start let's do an epic entrance look at this yep epic so now real quick so in this video um it will be like two videos in one because I'm streaming this right now, so everybody that's, that comes in, they can actually watch it and see me go through it. And I will also be taking that, so you guys don't have to see the two hours video, I will actually just make a shorter version of it into for a YouTube video. So you guys can actually know how to slay Fatalis, okay? I'm gonna show you what I did in order to build up up to this point the decorations that I have, why I'm using the great sword, and all the stuff that I went through and all the grinding in order to get to this point, okay? So, how, what did I do to slay Fatalis? So, Fatalis killed me like 800 times. Yeah, probably you too. So, this is the build that I am rocking right now. Obviously, I got the Black Fatalis Blade, Dragon Head B+, Dragon Hide B+, B+, for the Dragon Claws, Dragon Barbs A+, and Dragon Feet B+, okay? Gilly Mantle, Temporal Mantle. I got a Master Charms, um, which is level four. So, for my skills, here are my skills. Where was it? Here are my skills. These are the skills that I am rocking right now for Okay, wait, you guys can't see it. Let me move this real quick. There you go. Those are my skills that I am actually using right now when I want to kill Fatalis. Okay, I've killed Fatalis twice, so I'm still getting the hang of the great sword because I am not so good with the great sword yet. Because my main weapon is an insect glaive. So, okay, so obviously. Um, it is totally different than the Great Sword. The Great Sword is really slow, but it hits hard. Okay, so you can see that I have only killed him twice, and I already have like all his stuff. How did I do it though? There's something that you can do with your Palico that at least you can create the Giant Claws B plus. Uh, at least the 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 vanguards, the waist, and your shoes or the dragon feet or whatever you can create it without killing fatalis because for the sword for the head and for the hide um you actually need the the, the eye of fatalis like the evil eye and the only way to get it is to actually killing him twice okay and not, not killing him twice <laughs> the way that you actually get it is by breaking his head twice and that's how you get the fatalis evil eye okay so with that out of the way i'm going to show you as well here in my decorations so you guys see let me just switch this back to where it was real quick okay perfect so here are my decorations these are the ones that i'm using so if you want to take a picture take your time take a picture okay that's all my my decorations that i have so most of these decorations if you don't have in like a lot of decorations here's where you want to go when you go to post a new quest and master rank you go to events and you go over here uh am i a master rank no you go to events and master rank and you will kill um a temper sinagra sinagra or however the hell you say that word so the wrath of thunder descends when you kill him, it will give you from nine to 10 decorations. And most of them will be four stars, okay? So if you want to farm, just farm your ass off and you will get the decoration, okay? Um, I don't have like the complete set of decorations for this build, but hey, it works like a charm and it has worked for me, okay? So that's one way into how to get decorations if you don't have the decorations, okay? Um, Aside from that, what you need to put on your palico to actually farm for the materials is uh, the plunder blade, if I'm not mistaken. 
yeah the plunder blade so this is one this one tool that you will get or a particle equipment a, a, a whatever the hell this is called I, I forget the name you know it's like i know what it is a palico gadget that, that that's the word that i was looking for so the plunder blade if you put it on the palico guess what you will be able to loot because the palico will loot items from um fatalis okay so you can begin create you can you can begin to create your your armor for your character okay at least uh, the the last two the well the 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 wrist the waist and the, the feet so you will, you will be able to create it it doesn't take that much like i think if you play like three or four times with him you will be able to do it and that's how you build up in order to have a good equipment in order to be able to hit him hard okay so um if you can't get it try to get it built i go to game8.com and i actually just follow the builds from there and i just since i don't have all the decorations that they have what i do is that i actually just modify the, the decorations i use them as a base and like for the decorations the arm and all that stuff but at the at the end of the day i will put decorations that matches my play style you know and where i see that i get the most damage from um so that's one thing the second if you're dying too much because you don't know the movement of of fatalis guess what here's what you can do when you have your the gadget for your palico on level 15 it will just gain a lot of stuff right so the vigorous the vigor was spray um when you have a level 15 when the monster kills you um your palico will revive you once per quest okay so that's an extra life right there if you have insurance the palico insurance when you go to a canteen and eat you will have an extra life as um as well but mind you that if you have bigger wasp and in, in feline insurance when you die the palico will revive you but your feline insurance were just were off okay that's something to keep in mind because otherwise you're just wasting free lives there okay so in this case i'm using the Mjolotov cocktail because i already have all the stuff etc when i eat at least since i have this equipment um, you guys will want to eat and just get the the chef choice platter or whatever so it gives you 50 health and 50 stamina i already have 100 stamina and and i mean i already have 200 health and 200 stamina so i don't need to get that one so what i do is that i get the veggie platter okay so let's go over there and let's slay fatalis let me explain to you something real quick before i even go on the quest the heavy artillery that's something that i forgot to mention the heavy artillery is really important here because it's heavy artillery you can use the cannon and when you use the roaming balliste um it will actually help you so you can you can give more damage let's go on the quest so here is fatalis so you guys can see him in all his beauty because I love this dragon. There's some others that I love more, but he looks so badass. His tail and everything. Just look at this. I go off, get the demon drug first. I swing down. I don't use the my seat yet because this one doesn't last that long. Um, you can use demon powder as well, but I'm just lazy and I haven't I haven't been able to do it. So it's like whatever. So you go up here. You put your ghillie mantle on, obviously. You go up here. You begin loading the cannon. If you have heavy artillery, um, the two upgrades, you're going to do 450 damage. So yes, it's five cannon cannonballs from there, and five cannonballs over here. So it's 4,500 um, damage 
total damage. And you will stun him and he will go to the ground. So I know mostly all of the attacks of, of Fatalis. So in a way he doesn't kill me that much. But what happens is that since I'm not used to a great sword, I miss a lot of shots, a lot of attacks. And you will see. So he comes over here, shoot him again here. He will flinch. You go to the ground and you begin hammering that head. Sometimes this shot, I miss it because I just take too long. I forgot to give myself a, a my seat as well. Just did it now. Put on the temporal mantle. And you can throw him to through here. Just smash his face against that. You can do it now or later. It doesn't matter. I just like to get it out of the way because he always screams and stuff. So it's like, whatever. Go over here, get some rocks. So with the great sword, obviously you, you give a lot of damage. So if you have the great sword, what I like to do is, is that I like to stay like far away from him to see if he actually does the flamethrower. So the further away you are from him, the more likely he is to use the flamethrower. And that's what I like because that's when you can hit his head hard, you know. Sometimes he just spans these freaking attacks, you know, so it's like whatever you can do nothing about it. Just move around. That's what I do. I just move around a lot. Try to stay here to see if he does the the, the flamethrower. So the goal here is to make him leave at the first five minutes, or be uh, five minutes or before. And. Uh, if you can't then at least prior to 10 minutes you need to do it prior to 10 minutes and if you do it good then he will just leave obviously so in this part you can just get on don't be afraid he will not hit you um and on the second phase if you can make him leave um before the 15 minutes then you're good you know it means that you did the damage that you were supposed to do and all that stuff and apparently i don't have stamina crazy I see it's not a good position for me just throw yourself <laughs> that's it just throw yourself I just want him to do a flamethrower There you go. It's free damage right here. 745, look. What I do sometimes, I just put the ghillie mantle. So he's just looking for me. Just hit him again. He will scream and just so on and so forth. Um, 
I hate it when he hits me because my peak performance leaves and I do way less damage. See? So approximately in five minutes, six minutes, he's he's doing his flame. So it's 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 not the best time, but I'm still good, you know. It all depends how fast I can make him go on the on the second one. Always go here, get this smoke bomb. Just fire away. You can you can do two things, either shoot his head or his chest. That's what I do. You know, I just alternate because remember you need to break those those you need to break his head twice. You know. So if you're missing a lot of attacks, then you need to focus on on his head with the ballista. Another thing that, that you can do as well is just grab on his head if you can, and just spam the the this attack because that thing hits hard. So this is the range that, that I like to stay because he's more likely to actually do the he hit me. He's more likely to do the, the flamethrower. I got this range. Oh snap. And this tail. Man, this tail is crazy. So the more that you can get the the hell out of that tail, the better for you. Obviously, I'm doing I, I'm not doing nothing crazy. I'm just trying to because not 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 everybody will have the equipment and all that stuff or the, the decorations and whatnot. So <laughs> this is how I did it. Ah. Snap, I missed that. He killed me. So yeah, Fatalis is like that. Fatalis is like that. I never say that I'm like the best player in the world, but sometimes he is like that. Doesn't matter. I'm closing in on 10 minutes. I need to hit him harder in order to make him go to do the his attack. I forgot to get the demon drug. Sometimes he spams that attack. Like he doesn't he doesn't do anything else. I hate it. Isn't that crazy, yo? So here, one, two, supposed to be hit. There you go, parts broken. I think it was his chest. Yeah, his chest broke. I don't know how, but whatever. It's supposed to be his head. There you go, flamethrower. One, two, three. Bam. 
772. When he gets up like that, if you had a temporal mantle, just shoot him down. That's simple. Maybe you will miss a couple of attacks like me. But in this one, just hold it and miss. <laughs> I mean, don't miss like me, okay, guys? It's like that was like a worse example. That's that, that that's what I mean when I, when I say that I'm trying to practice um, the movement with the grace and all that stuff. So it's like I'm not a pro, you know. But I kill fatalis, you know. It's like it doesn't matter. You don't have to be a pro in order to kill fatalis, you know. It's about learning how to dodge and all that stuff and just doing enough damage. And that's it. As long as you're good. If he leaves like for the for the blast on before the 15 minutes or on the 15 minutes mark, you're good. If everything else works out as planned, obviously. to hit him. Don't use that. See, he's a cheater. And now that I'm over here, now he doesn't use the flamethrower. Sometimes he just spams the flamethrower. It doesn't even make sense. I always jump when he screams so that way I don't get freaking stumbled. One, two, three. Bam. Okay, so now he's on the ground again. Let's just throw him again against the freaking um, wall. Let's go back here again. <coughs> See, so up to this point, we're we're making good time. he goes into this phase the thing is that I still haven't broken his head so his flames are going to be ridiculous yep I'm supposed to break his head pretty soon If I manage to hit him correctly, you know. So in this case, it's a worse example into the things that you're not supposed to do. Because at this point, you're supposed to already have his head broken. Look at that. I hate his tail. Like, it doesn't even make sense, to be honest. I hate it when he hits me like that.
So this, when he does this, just go on this side, charge your attack. He will not hit you. There you go, 840. So I'm just waiting for him to actually do the flamethrower or something. So if you don't break his head, that blue flame hits hard. Like when I tell you that it hits hard, it hits hard. So this sucks. Uh, there you go. Perfect timing for me. So. So I broke his head, so I will get off like in an instant, you know, just try to hit him with a threat attack. <clears throat> I don't care about anything else. I need to hit his head. See, so he left. So it means that at least up to this point, the damage that I'm giving to him is good because he left real quick, you know. Without using too much of the balliste. So I want to get the the room ballista, but the thing is that it's just it's just tricky. So now I can get on the ballista. I don't waste a little bit of time, but can you shoot his head <clears throat> or his chest? So he's in rage, obviously. Same thing, the other side. So he will do that three times and the third one is like real quick. Just wait. Let's see what he does. One minute to the Dragonator. So that's good. One, two, three. 715 that's good damage right there so this one is also jump so that attack sometimes is just crazy one two three bam 701 again I tried to jump on that one as well so So when you break his head the second time, this attack will not kill you. Like, it will not kill you. It will give you damage, obviously, but it will not kill you. One, two, three. Bam. Again. Don't let him grab you with that. Otherwise, you will regret it. So in this case, right, he's over there. He's supposed to get all the way to this point. So Dragonator time. Bye bye. He gets up real quick. So that's why I, I let it loose quicker than, than usual. Because he just gets up real quick snap well just jump easy easy 
no stress. Gonna do that again. So I think I can here I can hit him three times. One, two, three. There you go. Get some health. So I don't know you, but I hate it every time he just gets up. So what I do in this case, I just put the killing mantle. When he flies and you don't have the like the one shot binder, just put on the gilly mantle. Two, three. Aha, <laughs> I missed. And he hit me. So in this case, I'm out of, I am out of materials. So I'll use a far caster to go back to base. He almost killed me right there. I can't even believe it. I'll just go to base. Get a meal. I will get the, <clears throat> the attack up. Not every time I do this, right? Because he just, he has just hit me like a lot. But <clears throat> I need to restock. Because I am hurting right now in materials. So then I go back. That's simple. He is almost dying as well. But I need to break the, his head again. Waiting for him to do a flamethrower. Oh, for me to get that temporal mantle. There you go. One, two, three. Remember, go on the other side. So I think he does it like three times and then after that he just doesn't do it no more. And after that it's just like he's dead. Still have five more minutes approximately. Put the temporal mantle on. I need to break his head so that's my main focus right now. you go freaking head completely broken just takes patience you know guys one two and there you go that's how you kill fatalis you know and i still have a little bit more time to spare and 25 minutes and 46 seconds you know i still have five more minutes to go so Remember, if you make him go and throw his breath at the five minute mark or seven minute mark, you're good.
if he does the second breath where you need to you go to the bunker by 15 minutes or before even better then you will have like spare time you know so so really hope that you enjoyed this video and the stream prime dice out and i will see you on the next video take care